Abeleth, also known as the bringer of chaos and beloved queen of the stars, was an extremely powerful force-sensitive entity. Because she drank from the well of power and bathed in the pool of knowledge, she was adept in utilizing both the dark and the light side of the force. She first lived as the servant, a mortal woman who served the powerful ones on an unknown jungle planet over a hundred thousand years before the Battle of Yavin. Throughout her life, she became the mother, she kept the peace between the father's warring son and daughter and became a loving member of the family. Unfortunately, she was still mortal and M- -dash. She grew old while the father and their children lived on and M- -dash. and she feared she would lose her precious family. In a desperate attempt to hold on to the life she so loved, she drank from the font of power and bathed in the pool of knowledge. Her actions corrupted her transforming the mother into the twisted, immortal entity known as Abeleth. When the father discovered her crime, he departed the planet with his children and left Abeleth stranded. The son and the daughter enlisted the help of the Killick hives from Alderaan, using them as workers to create massive technological artifacts, such as Centerpoint Station and Sinkhole Station, to imprison Abeleth. According to the Killick Thurret Hive, Abeleth managed to escape her prison whenever the current of the Force was altered and the flow of time changed. Each time she escaped, the son and the daughter would return to the Killicks and defeat Abeleth, locking her back in her prison. This cycle repeated itself for thousands of years until the death of the ones in 21 BBY, when Jason Solo fell to the dark side in 40 Abbey and became the Sith Lord Darth Kaidus in an attempt to change the future. He unintentionally awoke Abeleth. She later managed to escape from her prison due to the destruction of Centerpoint Station during Kydus's reign. Taking advantage of the chaos the galaxy was in, she immediately sought to maximize its effect, to wipe out civilization. However, she was discovered and hunted down by Luke Skywalker and his son, who constantly fought her and even destroyed some of her avatars. Ultimately Abeleth took the form of Senator Rokari Kem and successfully got herself elected as Chief of State of the Galactic Alliance. However, her remaining Avatar bodies were killed, and she was then destroyed by Luke Skywalker and Darth Krait in the realm of Beyond Shadows. Despite her death, Luke and the Jedi were not convinced Abeleth was dead for good and thus began searching for the planet Mortis. Luke intended to locate and obtain the same dagger used to kill the ones decades earlier during his father's encounter with him to ensure that if Abeleth eventually returned, the Jedi would have a way to kill her permanently. 